Let's take a look at a Bulgarian split squat and that's going to help you to master your lower body mechanics because you're working unilaterally from your foot all the way up to your hips coordinating it with your upper body in terms of upper body stability. So with the split squat I want you to take a stance where you got one leg forward and one leg back and one good way to know if you're in the right position would be if you can perform give me a 90-90 knee angle so 90 degrees in the front right there and 90 degrees in the back if you find that you test and your knees are a little bit back from that 90 degree position that's totally fine but you just don't want it all the way up here nor do you want it so far back that that back leg is nice and straight you don't want that also in terms of the the, the position of the two feet you're going to want one lined up with the other so you can't have the hip width apart the back foot you got to have it that if you brought it up next to it to test they are either in line with each other or they're able to intersect so now that you got that position in I want you to have a forward lean with the torso but not with the knee forward lean with the upper body all right that puts you in a, this, in a position to utilize your posterior chain. Now, the movement itself, okay, you're working through the front leg here. I want you to push or work 80% 80, 80 or more. So you don't want that back leg to be doing a lot of the work at all. So you have to have 80% or more working through the front leg. Now, this is an exercise for your glutes your hamstrings, your quadriceps, your feet, your ankles, all the muscles of your thighs. And I want you to create pressure through your feet in the middle of it. Not the front, not the heels, but in the middle. Making sure your feet, your toes are activated correctly. So let me show you six reps of what that looks like. So I want you to create tension through your upper body by drawing your shoulder blades or creating a co-contraction actually between your chest and your back by squeezing into your armpits. All right, forward knee and the really, really tight torso, you want to sink back and down through the hips. You don't want to feel like you're moving forward. You want to feel that the hips are flexing back and down. All right, so here we go. 